Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this Allen range. So download this file and see if you can create this part. Just to explain it, on the front plane, you are going to create this sketch. Then you are going to create this profile, which is this. Then you are going to sweep this profile along this part. Then that should give you this Allen range. And on the fourth step, you are going to create 10 variation of this Allen range. And what I mean by that is for this Allen range, the size is one. And on your next variation, the size is going to change to two. And on the next variation, the size is going to change to three and so on until you get to 10. So don't save this part and start a new file to create each dimension. All the dimensions for this size should be located in this one file. And to do that, you can use the configuration feature. And I also include a link to show you how to do that. This is a good exercise to teach you how to create different configuration in SOLIDWORKS. So try to solve this on your own. Then you can come back and watch this video to see the solution. To create this Allen wrench, let's start a new part file and click OK. The unit is going to be in millimeter. So I'm going to click on settings. Under document properties, select units and change it to millimeter and click OK. We are going to create our first sketch on the front plane. So I'll select the front plane. Let me move it over here. Now select sketch. And we want to select the circle and draw a circle starting at the origin point. Draw something like this. Select the line. And starting at the top quadrant of that circle, draw a line going out. Select the line tool again and draw a line at an angle like this. Holding down the control key, select that line and that circle at a tangent relation. Then we'll use the trim tool. We'll trim this part out. And we'll also trim this part out. Let's select the line tool again. Select this point and draw a line that is touching this top line. Something like that. Select this line and this line and add a collinear relation. And now we can start adding our dimensions. So let me move it over here. So let's add a dimension from this point to that point is going to be 100. Let's add a dimension here. This is going to be 2. Let's add another dimension from this line to that line. The angle is 45. Let's click this line and make it a construction line. And the final dimension we are going to add is our radius, which is 4. You can see we have a fully defined sketch and just exit the sketch. Next, we are going to create a reference plane on this point so we can create this sketch on it. To do that, let's come to feature on that reference geometry, select plane. And I'll click on this drop down. I'm going to select my right plane as my first reference plane. Then for my second reference plane, I'm going to select this point and click OK. So now we can select this plane and start our sketch on that plane. So just select that plane and start a sketch. For this, we are going to draw a polygon. So I'm just going to move it somewhere like this. And let's click on polygon. It is going to be six sides. I'm just going to draw something up here. Something like that. Let me go number two. So you can see, so I'm number two. I'll click this point and that point, holding down the control key at a vertical relation. And let me just move it somewhere here. So you can see, I'm going to click this point and also click this point, holding down the control key at a coincident relation so that that point is on that end point of that line. Then I can go number two again. 
Then now I can add my dimension and this dimension is going to be one. We have a fully defined sketch. Let me just move this up. We have a fully defined sketch. I'm going to exit that sketch. So let me hide that plane. I don't need it. I hate when that color is in the way. So, okay, we have something like this. Next, all we need to do is use the sweep feature to sweep this profile along that path. So come to feature, swept bus. For your profile, you can see for a profile, that's that little circle over there. We'll select this sketch. For the path, which is this, we'll select that line. And it's giving us the preview. Everything looks good and we'll click OK. All right, good. So we have this part down. Step four is the tricky part. So step four, I want you to create 10 different sides of this Allen wrench in this same file. So you are not saving this file and starting a new part file. You are creating the 10 different sizes in this part. Before we create our configuration, let's save this part. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to browse to my desktop and I'm just going to save it as Allen Wrench. So once I've saved it, under my feature manager tree, click on this that says configuration manager. And let's right click on this default and change the name. So right click on it, select properties. Let's change the default to size 01. So I'm just going to change that to size 01. Copy it and paste it here. And click OK. So now let's go back to this feature manager tree. The sketch that we used to create this profile is sketch 2. So right click on sketch 2 and click configure feature. So it's going to bring you here. So what we are going to do is click on this arrow on that sketch two. Click on that arrow. It should give you this. Then we'll click this box to show the sketch and the dimension. So if I click in there, see it is showing that dimension one here. Let me just zoom in so you can see it very well. So if I hover over there, it is showing that dimension one and I'm just going to double click it and it's going to bring it in there. So once it has bring this dimension in here, from here on now, this is just like an Excel table. You can type the rest of your values, which is size two, size zero three, size zero four, size zero five down here. Then you type the corresponding dimensions here. So let me show you. So I'll type in size zero two. Now press enter and you can see, and just make sure you do that for the rest of this. I'm a slow typer. So I'm just going to pause the video and type everything in. Then we'll come back and do the same thing for over here. So for now, I want you to fill this just like you'll fill an Excel sheet. Type size 0 to size 0 3 down. And once you type it in, all you have to do is click enter and it goes to the next row and you do the same thing. So I've typed in all my configurations, variations, size 0, 1 to size 10. Next, I'm going to add the corresponding dimensions here. So size 1 is 1 dimension and size two will be two size three will be three so on four five six seven eight nine ten once you have typed in everything make sure you have all your sizes over here and you have your dimension over here then once you have typed in everything click ok And now I'm just going to click on this to update, to rebuild it. So once I rebuild it, come back to the configuration tree and you will see all the corresponding size over here. So we have size one, size two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And watch what happens as we click on each size. So if I click on size two, you can see the Allen range is increasing. Let's click on four, five, six, and I'm just double clicking on it to click it. Seven, eight, nine, 
10. And this is how you create different configuration of one part in SOLIDWORKS. And I really thought that this exercise is a good exercise to teach you how to do that. Thank you. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.